What's up, siblings? Uh, I feel like I got something started uh, with my challenge from my last video that really put us on a trend of like examining your life, really difficult questions type challenges for the subsequent videos like set three major life goals and then like work on one before the next video. That's like a lot. It was hard for me because I realized that I feel like over the course of my time in graduate school something has like died inside of me and I don't have life goals anymore. So that's uh, that was a weird revelation. But I'm making them. I mean, I have, I have like things. I have, I have things that I want to do. It, it's just, I felt like there was too many of them. So there are obvious things. Like I want to be healthy, and I want to take good care of my family, and I want to take good care of my home, and I want to, I want to take good care of myself. Um, but I don't know if those are considered like life goals. Or more is just things, I think, are important to do to avoid being a, a, a bad person. So here's what I came up with. Number one. I want to get my PhD in mathematics. That's really important to me. And that might not seem like a big life goal, uh, considering I'm in a PhD program and I've been working on this for a while. But it's the sort of thing that this is not like guaranteed, even at this point. Like I'm not convinced that I'm gonna make it. There are days when the there are days when this is hard. So Boom. And if I do Stevens rule and say double it, then my life goal is to prove a difficult problem in mathematics. All right, something, some, something significant. I have a couple of ideas of the type of problem that I might solve. If you have any interest in, I don't know, reading something about it, you can look up the erdos faber lovas conjecture. A link. Thing. Number two, I want to get in really good shape. Like I, I, fitness, general fitness is like a life goal, but it changes from time to time what that specifically means. Like for a while, it was I wanted to do a planche push-up, and um, that's still on the table. I want to do that. And now it's like powerlifting is more what I'm focused on. Maybe lifting mm, a thousand pounds as a powerlifting combine. So that's if you add up my bench press, my deadlift, and my squat, it's a thousand pounds. I don't know, things something like that. And if I double those, that means to do two planche push-ups um, and lift two thousand pounds. I I mean it doesn't make as much sense. But the point is, is I want to be fit and I want to be like. I don't know, really fit, like, it makes me happy, it makes me feel good. Number three, could I, could I be like Roxanne and like take a pass on number three? I mean, number three, number three, it could be one of two things, like I want to take really good care of my house, and actually the past week, dad and I have been like tearing up the deck in my backyard, and so doing like handyman stuff around the house is really cool, I, I like to be capable, I like to be able to handle these things myself and not have to, I have to pay a lot of money for somebody else to come in and fix my house for me, right? Like it's important to me that I fix, I be able to fix stuff when it breaks. But my third life goal could also have to do with music. I've been playing a lot of piano lately and I have fun, I have fun with that. Speaking of playing piano, last time I talked to Steven and Amanda, we tossed around the idea of doing like a little online piano concert with the family, like everybody's invited to sit down and learn two pieces. And in fact, I, I ask that you do this, like, Aaron, you could play the guitar, Roxanne, you could sing a song, or if you, you've been playing the guitar, still do that. Aaron Huckabee, please learn some cool, like, everybody learn at least one song, and then we'll do, like, an online concert. Can we can we agree to do that? That would be super fun. We all sit down, and we'll pull up webcams, and, and we'll play, and we'll laugh, and sing, and it'll be, it'll be a good time. Tentative date is December 31st, but it could be moved up. All right, so we'll say December 31st is the file, uh family piano concert. Okay, Steven's challenge was to act on it. Let's check this out. So the purpose of this video is to not only show you that I've been working towards my goals of getting a lot stronger, hitting that thousand pound mark, which as you can see is still a ways off, but whatever, but it's also to intimidate Aaron and Steven into getting into the gym or else they'll be thoroughly embarrassed at the weekend of reckoning when I just crush them in the powerlifting event. The coolest thing that's happened to me lately is I went on a vacation with Margaret's family. I always, I always learn a lot about myself when I go on family vacation with Margaret's family. 
So we went to Erie, Pennsylvania, and that was like a lot of fun. Margaret's brother Fred lives in Pennsylvania now. So we went to Lake Erie, and it was totally beautiful. We went to Niagara Falls, and it was like incredibly beautiful. And there's water everywhere. And then we went to the Hershey Chocolate Factory, and that was like a joke. Uh, it was just sort of like a consumerist money grab. Like, it was really embarrassing. Because everything is like propaganda for the Hershey Company. Like, you can buy like t-shirts that say Hershey buy more chocolate you can buy their chocolate bars but not any cheaper than you could actually just buy them at like Winn-Dixie yeah it was sort of lame we went on a ride where there were animatronic singing cows we went to Gettysburg after that which was cool although we didn't spend too much time there and then we went to Mammoth Cave which was also very cool but again we didn't get to do very much in general I really enjoyed the trip it's fun to just get away and break break routine for a while and go see some beautiful places and spend some time with some people that you love. Uh, it, it always makes me think, could we ever do something like that? Just logistically, like would would it even be feasible for all of us and our kids and mom and dad to buy like a bus and go somewhere for a week? Seems crazy, but would probably be very fun. My challenge for the week, I figure we're YouTube stars now, so we're gonna do some YouTube challenges. I gotta break, I gotta break this trend of like soul searching, life altering challenges because it's it's hard on me. Right, so we gotta do the classics. Roxanne, cinnamon challenge. Back when we were in high school, that you went to some sort of retreat, like a church retreat. And they put the cinnamon challenge like in the middle of a big tickle course or something. And the first person who there ran and slammed the cinnamon in their mouth and like threw up everywhere. So I feel like you're the most qualified to tackle this. Steven. Steven. You're the one who actually inspired me to do this. So when we see Steven these days and we go out to dinner and there's spicy food, Steven always is like, it's not so spicy. I eat spicy food all the time. Mr. Andy cooks with jalapenos. I'm the Spice King now. So Steven, your challenge is to eat a ghost pepper. I'm gonna send it to you. Aaron, the only thing I ever hear about your life except from what you post in videos is about like the crazy girls you're always hanging out with. So for you, I want you to do the yoga challenge. What is the yoga challenge, you might say? This is not a classic, it's new. What you do is you come up with crazy yoga poses and then generally require two people to do and then you film yourself doing them with that person. And it's hilarious because it's awkward and they're hard. I'll post a link to all those things um, so you can see some good examples. And I'll see you guys next week.